Hey everybody, Mike here with Cine Samples, and this is the uh, Cine Strings solo uh, preliminary unofficial walkthrough video. Uh, we've had uh, a lot of work put into this library, and we've spent more time on this library than any other library, and we kind of wanted to show you where we're up to, what we're doing, and... Um, and you know we haven't really released any info. We've released some audio examples, uh, but uh, but there's nothing like seeing a guy fumble through the patches. Uh, so here we go. This is the um, so this is violin one, right? So violin one is, um, you know, we record everything in position. So she's sitting right here in the first chair. Now, you know, when you're playing lightly, it's standard sort of legato. If you add a little bit of velocity to it, you get the... Right. <laughs> and you really... You can play some fast lines and it works, which is great. Uh, and I'm not doing, having to do anything. I'm not adjusting... Um, any, any of the CC values. And you'll notice that the higher, um, sort of the more expressive legato has a lot more vibrato. So just by default, this really isn't any vibrato, but there's that. So it's adjustable just by the style or the way that you play the notes. You're not fumbling with breath control and all of that. That's if you play hard, which don't do that. I would recommend that when you play the choose the notes that you want to have. Uh, you want to give a little bit of that portamento to. All right. Well, that's the violin. Oh, by the way, so all that I had to pedal down. So. And the mapping control is greatly improved. This is all brand new. Uh, pretty much started from scratch and built something new. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, but you basically have two conditions now that you can uh, uh, apply values to, which allows you to do nearly any kind of mapping style that you want. Um, and our hope and our goal is to apply this to the rest of the, the series. All right, I'm going to move on. Um, this is the, so that's violin one. Now, violin two is a different instrument, different player, sitting right about here. Okay. We have uh, sort of this attack overlay feature is all on here. Uh, it's super playable. I'm, I'm, uh, I really like how easy it is. You don't have to futz with it. Almost, it's it's kind of funny. Like if I if you play something like and you kind of play the wrong note, it still sounds good. Uh, I don't know. It's. So. 
that's the uh, violin two. And viola, viola is really uh, fantastic. Obviously, viola is sitting uh, directly in front of the conductor's stand. So somewhere about this location. Same thing. Here's a uh, cello. And I'm just showing you the full mix right now, but, uh, you know, again, like all the rest of all, you have cr close room and surround. So cello. You do faster lines. sound all right and uh the contrabass we got legato contrabass solo contrabass Let's see if you can hear it And then uh, the other thing that, we, you know, we have these sort of uh, um, chamber ensemble patches. Just the full group. I'll lower the, the dynamics a little bit. this it's violin violin two viola cello bass all separated out and the ensemble patch is also going to have the uh uh the instrument range control here for you uh and then then also this is included this isn't in the other libraries in in Cine strings core but you'll have control over the overlap range that's something that that you guys have wanted so we've applied it to this and then as I said before, we'll we'll take a lot of this uh, this improvement and, and put it into uh, the core library. Um, the chord arranger, this is kind of cool. You know, you can have. Uh, well, I, I don't know if I want to go into this, but you can have a light. So that means, like, if I'm playing a four note chord, like I am here, you've got violin one, violin two, viola, cello, right? It's gonna spread it out for you automatically. All right, uh, that's that's that. We got several articulations, not just shorts and longs. There's, there's pizzicato and and tremolo and Bartok pits. Um, here's uh, the chamber ensemble.
just a, I don't know. Sometimes we, a lot of the pizzicato patches out there are a little too. They're so huge, you know. So um, this will be great. Just to sort of layer uh, these patches. Even if you layer them onto another string, uh, like a more epic string section, uh, this adds a lot more kind of bite and directness to the tone. Um, all right, so well, that's just the general idea uh, of what we had. There's, there's, there's a few more patches that I didn't show you, and there's a few features that we're working on now. Um, uh, actually, we're, we're, we're working on something that's pretty cool, and, and I'll break out my cello here because I wanted to show you this. We're doing something with the bow change um, where we're going to create a solution that allows you to control the actual bow change. So, all right, bear with me here. Oh, boy. Got my cello here. You should be grateful that I was not the cellist on this library. But I just wanted to sort of demonstrate uh, a feature that we're working on. Um, a lot of people, or at least I do, I like to have control over where the bow change occurs. Uh, in reality, you can't have a bow change. I mean, you can't have an infinite bow, right? You can't just go with, without, I mean, at some point you gotta, and obviously we're working with professionals and they do everything that they can to minimize that that sound. So that's kind of what we're we're working on right now, is uh, is finding the best solution for creating what we call an infinite bow. So when you land on a note, you want to be able to stay on that note until you decide to change the bow. Like so, let's for example, like here, I I'll pretend I'm like I'm playing the note. And if I want to do the bow change, it, it should go forever until I lift up my finger and play it again. Uh, and that's just something that, I mean, by default, it's not going to do that. But we're working on, uh, on something to, to help with that. And, um, and I think that'll be a pretty cool feature that, that you guys will dig. Anyway, that's my... Or cello playing. So, um, that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful and interesting. And, uh, uh, you know, we are very excited about this. So, anyway, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for uh, the release. And we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.